Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cacti Craft. My name is Peyton, and today we are finally getting started working on the front of our castle. Yes! I know. Look at this setting. We're back here at my little studio. I've never really shown you guys. Well, yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is the Cacti Craft stage. This is where I set up myself when I don't have a proper intro for a video and I have to make it in post. It's pretty cute. It's pretty great. Uh, but yeah, so we are going over some of the things that you may have missed uh, in our live streams, uh, building up the front of the castle and some other good stuff. So I hope you're excited because I am so ready to see this castle built. It's going to be amazing. All right, so I was doing some organization things before. I've got a bunch of materials now, so we can start working on this giant gray block here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be decorating the face of this. This part is going to be, of course, partially covered by our stable area, but we still need it to look cute. We're gonna do some kind of pattern along, but we're gonna start with the entrance here and then build out. And the first thing we gotta figure out is how to door. Okay, so let's see. We got quartz and we've got stone and spruce and glass. And we're going to just start building up here. I like the staircase. We're gonna need to add some variation to things first, but we're gonna get the shape of it. I've kind of got an idea for how I wanna add on to this. We're just gonna experiment, have a little fun. I kind of want to build this platform out actually and we're gonna start I think yeah well, we'll just extend this out a little bit here boop boop oh hey look it's the inside of the castle <laughs> there we go freestyling oh my god it all blends into itself because it's all the same brick right now oh you know what we could use some andesite too that would help out a lot let's also just take these out here unfortunately it can only be you know one wide door. I don't know though if we're actually going to have a door or if we're just going to leave it open. It might look better if we just leave it open. See, I kind of want to just have a big open entrance like that. So we're going to build some of this space out. Where do I want to start this? Oh, hello, villager. Oh my god, did he come all the way over from town to farm? Jesus. That's a long way away, my dude. Okay, so let's put a pillar up there quote unquote pillar. It's not really going to be. Oh, you know what? I could make it like a log pillar. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Like that. Brink. How we feel about that? So at this point, I get an idea for this layered porch front kind of thing you can see me building up here. And while I was doing this, I came across what I wanted to be the frontal design of the area. Here you can Hear me working it out in my head. Put the cords back here and put the wall in front of it. Oh, and then we'd have to put, let's put regular stone down. Mm, no, it's the same freaking color. Maybe like a different color kind of wall. Oh, you know what? That actually looks okay. What if we have a fence, don't we? Yeah, let's see if this helps and I might change it to be a different kind of wall like an andesite wall or something but ooh okay I think that's it that's our baby so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and spread that front porch design with the wooden stairs and the fence uh, on both tiers on both sides of the decking you can see me building that up here um, but after that on the stream I kind of lost my way with how I wanted this to look and I ended up building something that uh, well you'll see it for yourself <laughs> okay guys this is what we did over on stream a few days ago it's been a while since I've looked at this and to be honest uh, I don't like it a whole lot Namely, I don't like the arches. Um, I like the terrace idea. I'm not sure about keeping like the fences and stuff, but I like the idea of having 
platforms going up like this. I like this level where it matches the armory and I like having another terrace up here. I want to do a different thing where they've just got different levels going up. I think I want to pave this area some and just reconfigure this whole idea with the arches and stuff. Also, our wandering trader is still up there. He's just vibing. And, oh, we gotta figure something out. I mean, I kind of like the curve shape of this, but it's hard to see with the arches and things, and we need more depth and detail and stuff going into this. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start experimenting. Alright, guys, so this is the progress that I have made. I have taken the arches out and our pillager friend is being pretty angry at me right now. But I've gone and changed up the look of the terrace a little bit. Um, it's less brown now and it actually matches the tower I think a little bit better because it is less brown. And it's got more white. It doesn't have a whole lot of blue in it. But I think that this is an improvement. It's just a snow landing now. Um, I like playing with the snow peeking through the fences and the walls. I think that that is a cool little thing. I wish I could do something about this. I don't know what I would do to change it, but if, I mean, cause if I put just a regular stone block there and then a wood block there from here, you would see a wood block there and that wouldn't look right. So I think this works just a little bit better. Um, I'm also experimenting with the wall design right now. It's not final, but it is a lot better than the flatness. And I might bring it out a bit. I might build like a pillar or something kind of arching over with a different block there. But yeah, I'm also probably gonna build the battlements up top to be a bit higher. And yeah, that is what we've got going on right now. Okay, so I, I pulled the FOV out. Hello farmer! He's living with me now, I guess. I pulled the FOV out so you can actually see more. There's a bit more depth to everything. I hope that doesn't make anybody dizzy because I know it probably can for some people, but oh my god, I just needed to see... When I, when I play Minecraft, I like having the FOV like all the way out just because I, I want to be able to see as much as possible. And I'm noticing like I'm getting rid of the ice and I don't know how I feel about that. It's just kind of going away. It's receding into the background. It's behind the fences here. Kind of like as a little peekaboo thing. And we've got another little peekaboo of white here with quartz and snow. I really like these arches. Especially this one. This one is okay. I mean, it's not the best, but I don't know what to do with it right now to make it stand out, make it better. Actually, what if I replace this with ice? That could be interesting. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. It's like a little highlight there. But yeah, less ice, more wood and stone. Um, just, I just did the exact same thing twice. <laughs> that's what happens when I try to talk and play Minecraft at the same time. How do people do this? Anyway. Trying to minimize the highlights because I think over here on this side, it's too much. Too much blue there. I mean, it's kind of nice, but it's not like castle-like. It doesn't feel like a home. It looks more... Mm, I don't know. It, mm, it doesn't feel homely. It doesn't at all. And this doesn't exactly feel like perfectly homely either, but it's more like you could walk up and live in it. It feels more house-like than that, which just feels artsy and I don't know why, but I'm getting kind of like an Asian vibe from it, which isn't a bad thing, but for an ice castle, I don't think it's what I'm kind of going for. Um, I still like this terrace here that I did. I gotta put it on the other side and everything, but I'm just... And then to make this work better, I mean, clearly it's all stone back there, so I'm going to have to do this, pan these panels and things, this wall, this floor, and the ceiling next to make it all work together. And I might go back to the tower, and I might change 
it as well. One that looks like a little turd sticking out of the back of a little puppy. And I don't like that much. <laughs> and there's too much weight. It's all highlights. It's literally the opposite of the castle. So I might have to rebuild it block for block just with more wood and more natural things so that it looks like it actually belongs. That or I build other towers up around it that are like completely dark and like this so that it just sticks out. That could be, that could be a thing actually. I might play with that idea. I'm gonna wait to take it down though because that's a big thing to redo. Okay dudes, this is what it looks like right now. Ah! This looks so much better than it did before. Much more castle-y. Or more maybe more like a giant mansion. But that's cool too. Mansion, castle, castle mansion hybrid thing we got. Very nice. I like it. Um, I do want to do something about this here, actually, now that I'm standing by it. Um, well, for one, I think this needs to wrap around all the way. But also, I think that we need some kind of ledge. Or maybe... I don't know, because I like the way that it looks from here. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just leave it. But I feel like we need something here. Some kind of decoration that can sit on this terrace here and I don't know if I want to keep it all stone right here I might make this all snow and it just breaks to stone right here um yeah the next bit the thing that I think it needs now is it needs more height right up there they're out of line with each other aren't they oh I forgot about that but we need something here and you know what maybe if I deliberately make something kind of off center here that will help and you'll forget about this if there's something off center there and that like the upper levels and the different layers to the castle on top of it aren't necessarily centered maybe that will make things look better like deliberate asymmetry because we did deliberately make this bridge and the entrance this way and we did deliberately have the throne room be more like this not square to it. I don't remember why, but I don't mind. I don't think. It's kind of its own little quirky thing. Also, this is the back wall. It's actually like too thick so that you can have the snow and the quartz inset. Oh my god. This looks so much better than it did on the stream. But this terrace is good and I kept the bottom level here. This bottom terrace finisher there and it wraps around the wall just like that and then we'll do something similar to these outside windows going all the way down the side of the building I might do that on stream this weekend but for now I think I'm gonna take a look at building up on the top if we'll have time I will go ahead and start work on that okay so I tried to make a clip uh, showing you guys what had just happened. Ha ha ha. Don't remember exactly where I started. I think I didn't have this. And actually, I didn't have this either. I was showing you guys. I made these frames up here to help combat the off centeredness by making it very clearly and evidently off center from this bottom part and from the tower. So, this is just a kind of little gazebo uh, overhang space. A big, nice public open space for when you're coming in off of the ballroom here. You can come outside, catch some fresh air under the Minecraft stars if you're out partying late at night. And you can just be underneath this little canopy, I guess, like if it's raining or something maybe. And just enjoy a breeze. A Minecraft breeze. Easy breezy Minecraft. But yes, so I'm build I'm using a bunch of spruce logs as a darker accent over the A-frames here, and I'm going to have to go get some more. Let's do that. Woo! I didn't think I'd actually fall if I let go to crouch. I guess that's what happens when you're a dork. Okay, 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 go ahead, turn around, turn around. Sorry, my dragon head, what the heck? Please go ahead, turn around, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh. It's so cool! Yeah? Yeah? Dang! Ooh, I love this path over to the armory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lowered the door down a level, so it's not on a stair oh. anymore. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So do you like the front? 
I love this terrace. This terracing thing mm -hmm. happening. I think that this part might need to change a little bit. This bit? Yeah, like maybe come out more, look a bit more castle-y maybe. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah, I'm kind of struggling with that, with uh, it actually being castle. <laughs> it kind of yeah. looks like a portcullis though, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. The little gate that goes down? Yes. Maybe it does just need to come forward a block or two. Yeah. Maybe, because I think there might be too much wood. Oh. I don't think I like the ice, though. Um, I yeah, understand? I've been trying to limit the ice. But That's see, the problem nice. is if you replace the ice, because I don't want to have too much stone either. Right. What if I do... Maybe, like, stone? Okay, see, yeah, that's what was... Oh. Um, here, okay, here, here. I'm sorry, here. but I think that looks better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Humor me, humor me. What if instead it was like this? Mm. So it's different. Or, and of course we'd make a matching, but... <laughs> because we can't just have stone bricks all throughout it, you know? And I think it needs to be a frame of some kind. It could even be... Wait, which one do you like less right now? Uh, the stone. Okay. Actually, mm, I don't know. Or even like that. Because it needs texture. Yeah. That's what it needs. I don't know, I really liked the blue. <laughs> and the wood and everything. Bring it all forward a block? Hold on, decide. What, what do we want the frame to be? These blocks. Here. I kind of like this. I kind of like the rough andesite. I like the polished andesite. Because <laughs> it matches with this andesite over here. Well, you know what we can do with that polished andesite, right? I, I think that looks good, though. No, I don't, I don't like that. Ooh! I kind of like it broken up like that. What if it was like this? Actually, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah! Like and that. it's not just blocky. Yeah. Because polished in a site is kind of like that. Oops. Or it's just a grid. I'm glad I got your input on this. This is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And be in awe of my greatness. <laughs> but there's an inside block missing here. Oh. And be in awe of my greatness. <laughs> here, toss me the stair. Oh. I have an idea. There, have some stairs. Oh. What? Oh! That's cool. Is that good? Mm hmm. That is the front of the castle. As approved by Moose Murray. Um. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now you gotta go up and look at the other thing that I did. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. Talking about this. Okay. So it looks like you're doing some log roofs. Yes. Interesting. That's why we need a lot more wood. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. Log roofs. I wanted some. I wanted a darker wood there. And I didn't want to make it stone because it's going to be like a gazebo like open air structure. So. Mm -hmm. This space oh, this is, in between yeah, the logs is going over the is going to be open. The open area here. Okay. Yeah. And it's going to help offset the look that the bridge and the throne room are off center by two blocks. Oh, they are. Yeah. They are. <laughs> I can just move the I can move the bridge over. No, 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 because this because this is in line with the bridge and the throne room is not. So you either got to move the entire entrance of the palace or the entire throne room. Two blocks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We're just going to make it an asymmetrical experience. Got it. And this helps because it's off-center. And it's completely off-center from these A-frames. And I just fell down. So are these going to be the only three? Yes. At least for that area. Okay. I'm not sure if I like that because I feel like there should be more of them like there should be four of them 
because it looks too tall, I feel like, maybe. Well, we're going to add more layers to it. We're going to add other things sticking up out of it. It's just not going to be those three things. So I was thinking of having, like, like a tower, yeah. or, like, a small little tower on the left over there, and then having more towers above the ballroom and stuff there, because we still got to do the whole third level. I think the whole third level can be its own, like, different, like, interesting shaped structures up on top that can be kind of unique and interesting on their own. Okay. Yep. I mean, that this, I guess, this is kind of its own independent thing that can probably change, I guess. Yeah. So, I guess it's not a big deal. Well, I dip. One. Ah, oh, one short. One short. Okay, there, down. All done! I think that that will be it for now in terms of the gazebo overhang. Was I? What the heck was that? I didn't fly at all. Okay, guys, with the A-frames up on top all done, we are going to be done for today's episode. Thank you for hanging out and watching us build the creeper farm and the base and everything. And I hope you will join us again real soon. If you liked this episode, why not leave a like? If you want to see more Cacti Craft, why not subscribe so you can hang out with us once again? I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!